Hi, I'm Jan, and today I don't have Levi, but I do have his filthy saddle and bridle. We're going to go over how to clean your tack. We're going to use a traditional cleaning method on the saddle, and then on the bridle we're going to strip and condition. So I've gathered together some basic cleaning supplies. Um, I have some sponges, a toothbrush, a rag, the soap to clean. You can use a glycerin bar, Murphy's wood oil soap. Um, Lexol puts out a cleaner specifically for leather. I have a conditioner for once your tack has been cleaned or stripped. On the bit, we're going to use Dawn soap. And to strip, we're going to use the ammonia mixed with water. And of course, you're going to need a couple of buckets of clean, warm water. So you'll notice I've taken my stirrup leather off of the uh, saddle. I really like to get a good deep clean on my tack, so I take it all apart. Um, your stirrup leather slides out from underneath on that bar, and I'll show you how to put it back on. So I'm going to use my sponge and just wet it. You don't want too much water on your sponge. You're going to squeeze it out till there's barely any water left in there. Too much water can ruin the leather. Then I'm going to take my glycerin soap or my Murphy's oil soap, whatever you prefer, and I'm going to start at the top in just little circles. You're going to get all over the top. Now, if there's too much water on here, you can take your rag and wipe off the excess water. You are not going to rinse your soap. It's a leather soap. It's good for the leather. It's going to condition it as it goes. And we'll get underneath the flaps, especially where ever dirt or sweat, sweat from your legs, dirt from your feet. Wherever your horse may sweat, you're going to clean underneath as well. Every part of your saddle is going to get cleaned. Now I'm going to clean my leather. You can take the stirrup completely off. Some people like to use a polish cleaner on this. You can, or you just use a regular scrub brush, Dawn soap, and water. Now I leave my saddle and the leathers out to dry before I reassemble them. At this point, you can condition them further, but the glycerin soap is a natural conditioner for the leather. It's not needed, but you can take that extra step. If you want, you can take a rag and dry off your saddle, but I tend to just let everything get absorbed. It makes for a nice, clean, shiny saddle. So one of the dirtiest pieces of tack that you probably own is your bridle. It sits right up against your horse's face where he sweats. It collects dirt and grime. The bit is in his mouth and it gets all grungy. So to get a really good clean on your bridle, we're gonna dismantle it, strip it with ammonia. Um, we're gonna soak the bit and then we're gonna condition the, the leather. So the first thing I do is I take the reins off of the bridle. put this to the side and then we're gonna take the bit off of the cheek pieces I'm going to drop this into a bucket of hot water to soak and I'm going to add some Dawn dish detergent. So our bridle is all taken apart. Our bit is soaking in water with Dawn and we can take a 
toothbrush after it's been soaking 10 to 20 minutes. And uh, we're gonna scrub it. It'll get rid of all the stuff that's been softened and loosened. Um, once you're done scrubbing it, you wanna give it a really good rinse in clean water and then set it out to dry. For now, I'm gonna let it soak just for a little bit longer. So our bridle has been taken completely apart. I got the reins over my neck. <laughs> um, we're gonna start with the brow bands and you add just a little bit of ammonia to a bucket of warm water with nothing else in it. And this is going to strip all the sweat, dirt, and grime that builds up from riding your horse. You get your ring dirt that flies up in your horse's face. Um, and you know that he's sweating underneath this leather whenever you take off his bridle, you see it, the sweat lines. So we're just going to, you'll get a little bit of a suds, that's okay, just leave it on there. But you wanna cover all, every portion of each piece of leather that you're cleaning. And once you've stripped it with the ammonia, put it to the side to dry and move on to your next piece. I notice um, around buckles, they get really dirty. So you wanna pay close attention to around the buckles when you're stripping. Um, you can even use a toothbrush to get some of the hard to reach grime. But gently on the outside, pay particular attention to the inside of what lays against your horse's face. My bridle is finally dried after being stripped. You'll notice now that it's it feels dry and brittle. And this is why we now need to condition or oil your leather. So take a nice clean sponge, get a little bit of the oil, and just start on any piece. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want it dripping everywhere, but you do want to cover every inch that you cleaned so that the oil or conditioner gets soaked up into the leather. And you'll notice that it'll, once you sit it aside after conditioning it, it'll be nice and supple. So I'm done with a piece. I'm going to put it aside to dry before I uh, remantle my bridle. So the most difficult part about reassembling your bridle is getting your bit on the correct way. If it's put on incorrectly, it could pinch your horse's mouth. So you'll notice a bit can bend either way. What you want to be able to do is clap these sides together that would be going into your horse's mouth correctly. Like this, no, it'll pinch. So I'm going to attach one side. And you'll notice I'm not doing it completely. It's because I want to confirm once it's on that I have attached it um, correctly. So what I'll do is I'll lift up my bridle and make sure my bit falls correctly. And it does. So I can finish 
attaching my bit the correct way. Making sure all my keepers and buckles are in their original positions. Once your bit has been placed onto the bridle, then you can attach your reins. Well, I promised to show you how to reattach your stirrup leather to your saddle once you've taken it off. It can be a little difficult. Underneath the flap here, you'll notice there's a bar. Go ahead and attach your leather to usually where you have it for your leg setting. Make a small loop at the top of leather and you're gonna just push it around that bar. Wiggle it back. Some saddles are easier than others. But you just keep pushing until you get it in spot. And then some saddles have this little lever here. You can click it up. That keeps it from coming off while riding. And then just readjust. And your leather has been replaced. Your tack is now all clean, and hopefully it's clean enough for the show ring if you've done a good enough job. That concludes today's video. Please click on that like button, it helps. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And next time, hopefully I'll have Levi with me.